Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how do I implement the six different search algorithms to solve the eight puzzle problems. So I will start by running my program. Here you can see in the console I will do the user input which is the median level inputs and also required to uh, solve the problem by using the A star one search algorithm. And here come us to the solution, which is very quick. It's a sequence of the move, and you can see the moves details here. So now we're going to talk about the general structure of how to implement each search algorithm. Since they are not that different, so I would just simply use my A star one search algorithm function to illustrate the whole thing. So first, we need to uh, take in two problem configurations one is initial state and the other one is goal state so uh, for how to forming the state inside this problem i will usually use my state generator inside the uh, state class which is taking a simple string state and also generate a two-dimensional integer array type of state and also um, when you are trying to generate a uh, successor which is based on the current state uh, you can use uh, I will use my legal children generator with a cost, which is take in the current state and also the move index, and it will give you out a corresponding uh, six, a legal successor state, which is with a corresponding cost at the same time. So uh, here we go about the main structure of the search algorithm. So. First, after taking those inputs, we will form a root node, which is based on the initial state. And then we need to create a frontier, which will be used to save the unexpanded node in the future. So uh, here we will first add the root node into our frontier node, uh, frontier queue, I mean. Uh, so, and then when it comes to the main loop, uh, in each iteration, there will be a node popped up from the queue. So uh, we will first do an immediate go test to see if it's matched the go state. If it isn't, we will keep expanding this node by generating the all the legal non-repeated successor node, uh, which expanded from that node. Um, so uh, once we got the legal and non-repeated successor, we will just iterate through them um, and add them to the frontier one by one. So uh, during the whole situation uh, inside the whole process inside the main, main loop, here is an important part, which is generating the successing, uh, successor node and also to do the non, to do the repeated state checking here. So uh, there are two steps to uh, fulfill the uh, uh, a completed uh, repeated state checking. First is to here like compare the successor state with the uh, export states and then you need to compare the uh, successor states with the uh, frontier states so uh, if the frontier states uh, is already existed inside uh, the frontier if this state is already inside of the frontier state uh, and also which is uh, resident re re which is uh, inside a node with a higher cost. So we were simply using our successor node to replace this node uh, in the frontier. Um, and for other like like uh, uninformed uh, search algorithms like the BFS and DFS, the second step inside the repeated state checking will be a little bit different, which is just simply check the current successor state with uh, frontier state. So, um, and for the uh, implementation of the frontier in different search nodes, uh, search algorithms. For first, for the BFS, I do. Uh, you can see here, I do a FIFO style queue, uh, which is let the inserted of the node happen at the end of the line, and the removed of the node happen at the front of the line. And for the DFS. It's a LIFO queue. Uh, uh, both the inserted insertion and the deletion of the node happen at the same side, which is usually the front of the line. Uh, and for the rest, for I implement their frontiers by using priority queue. So that means the only thing matters is the key value that be used to prioritize the um, node inside the frontier. So, which is come from the node fields. So that's all about my my uh, implementation. I hope you like this demo.